Fan fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man competition. Yeah, I don't know why I made that stupid noise, but it just felt appropriate. I don't know. Uh, this is season one. Season one, and we are surviving. We are, you know what? I forgot to show. We got to show this. So, I've killed four things. How? What? What have I killed? Oh, the spiders. Yes, yes, of course. I've killed spiders, so they counted. Okay. Uh, I have not died yet. I'm only level four. Uh, but I have cooked up enough parts, as you can see in my toolbar. And on me now, I've got some more stuff in... So got time on those. Okay, good. Um, and I also, if you notice, I've got like a 50 stack of biofuel because I got the, uh, I went and did some, some shotgun lumberjacking. And if those of you that didn't know, you can use a shotgun to blow trees down and uh, collect the wood that way. <laughs> it's actually, if... <laughs> Sadly, it's actually closer, it's quicker than harvesting them with a harvester sometimes. It's it's kind of crazy. I, Yeah. Anyway, it's fun. <laughs> uh, we still got, okay, so we've got more there. Um, you know what, we'll just collect what's here because I think at this point, once we're, once we get this thing built, we are out of here. So let's just grab that. I think we can just grab everything and most of it should just stack anyway. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's grab that. Okay. So, let's finish this off. Now, unfortunately, I had to take a bit of a faction hit. Here, we're going to stand in here. Let the noise of that door drive us nuts, yeah. Okay. We'll just spawn the drone because we can just stand in here and be relatively safe. Um, it's interesting that automatic doors respond to drones now. Like uh, I don't have to hit the the F key to open the door. Um, is that something new, guys? Is that Alpha 9 or is that like a more recent update even? Because I don't remember. Is that since Alpha 9? I, I just wasn't observant enough to, to remember that now. Anyway, it's... I guess it's good, in a way. Uh, I like having control when I open things, too. Anyway, um, we're going to salvage stuff off here. I took a hit, like I was saying, to, to spawn this in. So even... <clears throat> Doing it from a starter block, it um, you take the faction hit. It's considered spawning a vehicle in. And I took a hit of, what was it here? Um, I was at 4,500, so I took 99 points. A faction hit. And it says, it says there, spawn a structured vehicle in player's territory, minus 100. None if reputation is honored or better. So it... it that's why I took the hit, because it's considered s spawning one in. Uh, I don't know, I was only 99 points, but whatever. It seems to be, it doesn't seem to be rounding up. It seems to be rounding um, to a, a uneven number every time. It's kind of weird. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, we're just going to get rid of these ones here. We get nothing for them with our survival tool. Okay. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cargo boxes in. Now I'm going to do the... We'll do these ones. Because they're slightly contoured. It's more sexy. Uh, no, it's just... That's the way I run. Okay. Um, they're airtight, too. The other ones aren't. 
Now what I normally do is I'll put um, two up the front like this and then two at the back on either side as stabilizers. Okay, so I know this is kind of weird looking, uh, but it actually makes it really smooth to drive. It doesn't like, it's not, if you hit something on the front on an angle of it, it doesn't like flip you to the side really hard at all. It just kind of jumps over it. It's not, it, but it doesn't auto correct your, your angle very well. So you gotta, you gotta level off quite a bit, whatever. There's, there's always a trade-off, right? Okay, the next thing I usually do is the cockpit. So let's put that on. Now, I call this my little dragster starter config. It, it's kind of funny. It sounds ridiculous, I know. But this thing hauls ass. I'll show you. It's just ridiculous. It's probably... Like the fastest HP I've ever built, but let's stack that. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just keep. What else? What else? There they are. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the reason why it hauls ass is because it uses a couple of regular thrusters in the back, so it's way over thrusted for its weight. And they're only little thrusters, so they don't have much weight to them, right? So they're not contributing to the weight okay and then I usually put my the other thing too yeah I don't really have to consider weight right now uh, but we will need to we absolutely will need to so heavy things anything heavy you want really centered um, the reasoning be is is like cargo boxes too and that's why they're they're centered like this instead of going side by side if this had the weight restrictions enabled and I put those cargo boxes side by side and I started filling those up, it would tip my vehicle over because I wouldn't be able to fill them up evenly quick enough. Okay, so I'm going to put the generator there. I'm going to put the two fuel tanks. Um, now, I could just run like this and I think I will. One on either side. Because they... Hold their fuel evenly. That's a that's a balanced config right there. So next we're gonna put the RCS in, and we're gonna pull that. That's fine there. We're gonna do that. Okay. So I don't have unlock points for anything else right now, but we've got a couple of cargo boxes. We've got some thrust to it. Um, can I make, what can I make in the, can I make the ore scanner and detector? I can make the detector and ore scanner and both. Okay. Okay. Do I actually have those? I didn't make either of them. Hmm. I think I'm, you know what, before we take off, before we take off, because we're almost done here and the temperature's the um, hmm, the sun's gonna go down. That's okay. We'll head to the. Well, I don't know if we're gonna head to the west, but yeah. So I need to throw down my constructor just for a second here, and let's. going to take care. Did I actually unlock? I don't have any. Oh, because I, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just make these then. I did not unlock the ore scanner. Okay, so let's get that going. Can I unlock it? Do I have the points? No, I don't. Crap. I should unlock that. That's fine. That's fine. We'll make this really quick. 
Okay, it's got all what it needs. This will come in quite handy right now. We need to find some resources, especially silicone. I mean, we need everything. We need promethium. We know where that promethium is. Unfortunately, we don't have the scanner. <laughs> Detector is one thing. The ore scanner is another thing. So let's grab that. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of fuel. Um, well, let's fuel this thing up. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's probably going to be quite a bit because that's like a whole fuel tank. 600, that's a lot. These little hover thrusters don't take up a lot of energy. And I've only got the one RCS and the two other regular thrusters. So you can see even pushing the thrust, I'm still getting like 500 and some odd minutes. I'm 1,800 minutes without using thrust. Just hovering okay so we've got the detector we can now detect a thousand meters right so there's a drone over that way if we i'm going to show you how fast this thing is it's like up to speed right away and just like flying and because it's got such massive thrust to it, we can actually do crazy things that you'd normally not be able to do. <laughs> okay, so when can you do a cartwheel, or I should say a backflip with the starter vehicle? So let's do that again. And we'll do the backflip. Yeah, look at that. A backflip. How awesome is that? <laughs> It's all because of those thrusters and the one RCS. That's all it needs to turn this into a little super HV. Yes, it's only hovering 1.5 meters off the ground and it bottoms out a lot if you're if you got some heavy impact. But on smooth ground, it just flies. It's really good. Uh, and it consumes like no energy. So We've got everything on us right now. We've got both our constructors. We've got all our gear. We can actually, let's, um, yeah, there's some, I'm not quite fifth level. I need to level up in order to make the mobile constructor. Uh, that's our next big thing is level five. We, we've got to hit level five, uh, but we really need some deposits. Like, oh my God, like really? We haven't even found one yet. Not one, we've just got the one Promethium. <laughs> okay, looks like a bunch of Xerox zones. That's probably not healthy. Uh, okay, well, hmm. It's starting to get dark, it already is. Oh, we have a contact over here with our radar. So let's see what we got. Is it a, we're not in any, oh, this will be a Xerox zone, right? Wasn't this Xerox? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it's something in between there too. So, oh, crash cockpit. Okay, so that means it's no faction if it's that color red, I believe. Or enemy, I guess. Well, I don't think a crash cockpit's going to shoot us. Let's look for a red dot. Red dots, look for red dots. Don't really care about anything else. We're not going to have Xerox here. Uh, and I guess spitty bugs. So the uh, glowing big ass abdomen bugs, we want to avoid them too. Okay, so this looks just like a... Uh, Literally, uh, a POI, I guess it's probably like that one, the Crash Sentinel Rear. No, maybe not. Okay, so this is only our second POI other than the uh, Polaris stuff. Crash Cockpit. 
Huh. That means it's got a core if it's red. And, oh, we got Wi-Fi to it. That means it's a player core. That means it's a player core. We could technically... Um, we could probably go into the registry. Will it show? No, I'd have to, like, get out and switch it, right? Well, you know what? We should be able to, from the Wi-Fi, see what it's got. Uh, actually, let's really quickly do some quick uh, uh, inventory management. We're going to just put this in the cargo boxes, all the craftable stuff here. Okay, and we can put stuff in the other one. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to have more spoilage here pretty soon, but 68, 43. Let's eat one of those. Okay. So, we should be able to, right, go in. Let's take a look, see what it's got. We should be able to just go into here, crash cockpit, and it's got nothing. It's got oxygen that we can't take because there's not enough. <clears throat> Not interested. Not really interested. Is it, um... It's actually really close to water, though. I mean, there's water right there. But, I mean, there's water everywhere on this planet. It's not that big of a deal, being close to water. Okay, let's keep searching. Let's just, uh... Let's avoid the Xerax, because they're just going to shoot us up. There's going to be drones in there and shit. Let's, let's keep going this way. We'll, um, we'll head east. Head east, make, make sunshine come. We'll uh, head towards sunrise, make it uh, come up quicker. Looking for red dots the whole way. And you can see I'm just barely tapping the throttle. And because it's an imbalanced amount of throttle, it glides a lot. It glides forward without stopping uh, quite a bit. And we've got some spiders there. Not a big deal. They can't really do much while we're in our HV. Not a lot of fuel. <laughs> More spiders. I mean, realistically, I should be jumping out and just killing them. But... I'm probably better off doing that Polaris territory so that I can mine in their territory without taking a faction hit. Whoa. I think we just hit the uh, scene. Yep. Okay. Or did we? Yep. I was going to say, why did we just slingshot up in the air really hard? I know I'm passing stones. It's just we we got to explore. We've got we've technically got tons of fuel right now, like 534 minutes at full throttle. Oh, 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 oh. whoa, whoa, whoa! What is that? What is that? Uh, I'm seeing a nice big flow. Oh, that is. I remember that from last season. That was like the most toughest freaking out of all the POIs that we did. I think more people died in that one than any other POI. Uh, yeah, the top, the core room is just, it's, it's really, really tough. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, we don't need to go there, although we are getting... You know what? We can... Um, oh, there's something else over there, too. Look at that. Okay, so we got to be careful because we're in Xerox territory. And I'm getting some, some really bad frame hits like everyone else does in this game. Where it's nice and smooth and then it just stops. And it ain't my hardware, trust me. <laughs> okay, so 
That's Xerax. That is straight up Xerax. Okay. Okay. Unknown artifact, but it's owned by Xerax. It's got the uh, ZRX and it's a uh, red. Yeah. Okay, well. Um, you know what? I'm not adverse to maybe mining in Z Xerax territory. If I actually find a... Let's see. Let's just take a chance. Keep our eyes open for troops, though, because we don't want to fly by any of them. One lucky shot from a rocket and I could be kissing the competition goodbye. Okay. What is that over there? What is that? It looks I don't know. It doesn't look like a Pia. See it's ooh. Oh my, a crashed capital vessel. Really? Then we've got something to the east too. Let's um Well it looks like we'll be leaving Xerox territory, so it might not be so uh is that the center? That looks like the center of the zone. This. The unknown artifact. Oh 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 we got minigun. We got minigun over there. Minigun drone. Okay. Now this is another pro tip I'm gonna show you guys. Did you see that on the map? You can see stuff before it's even close to revealing itself on your radar. So remember that. If you want to check something out that you just discovered, it's like, okay, it's within 500 meters or 488 meters, fine. Hit your M and it's like, oh, Wait, there's drones over there. There's multiple drones. Look at that. And they're going to spot me pretty soon and come after me. No, maybe not. Nope. So that's the pro tip for the day. You can see if there's, if there's drones at something out of drone sensory range just by going into the map. And if you're within 500 meters, it will show them. Remember that. So get within 500 meters. Open up your map. Uh, don't don't get too much closer though. You know, like 480 is about all you really need. Open up your map. You'll see if there's drones. Okay. Uh, well, I don't see any Xerox troops, so I'm thinking. Oh, and there's a. There's a. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He is ugly as sin, isn't he? Nice. He's just ignoring me. Let's see if we can get a nice close-up here. Hey, buddy. Nice to see ya. Ooh. I wouldn't want to be his optometrist. Okay. Or his dentist. Uh, wow. Okay, so we're getting multiple hits. I'm thinking there might be deposits. Or other... Aha! Aha! Like I was expecting. So, okay. But that looks like we're getting into another zone over here. So we could be hitting... Yeah, so there's... I think we're going to be in trouble if we keep going over that direction. I think we're going to hit some Xerox. So, aha, another silicone over here. So we've got a couple silicone. So those are our first ore deposits. Now I see, yeah, I can see, uh, I'm not going to be able to get to those ore deposits because I can see POIs over there. Yeah, large comm center. I'm not getting to that. Too bad. Too bad. Okay, so there's at least there's no Xerox troops shooting us up. Well. Huh. 
So, well, that's okay. We're getting XP through discovery. And we really do need to discover all this stuff, so... What is that over there? Keep an eye out for troops. I don't want to go too fast into their zone, right? Because, yeah, because I'll just get shot. And, yeah, see? There's troops. There's troops. Just like I was freaking saying, so we're going to avoid that. And they come out onto the... I've seen them out on the pole. If the POI is really close to the pole, they will spawn out onto the pole here. So keep that in mind. And we can get shot at if we get too close, even though they we're out on the pole. So that's okay. It's okay. Let's see if we can get some discovery happening come on okay we've got the spaceport what's over here oh it'll be this oh crap Whew. just went between two groups of xerox i gotta be more careful yeah 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 i know we're going oh, oh. i know we're going in and out of xerox territory here Okay, yeah, that's a big swath down there, so now it's the spaceport, another spaceport, large comm center, unknown artifact, none of them are our targets, our target, isn't that in red or something like that, isn't it, no, no, did I already uncover it, no, no, okay, so we still got to find our target. Okay. Xerox troops. Oh, I wish I had some guns. I'm not fifth level. I can't make them yet. Don't have the constructor. I don't feel like powering up a base yet. Okay, so more troops there. I can't get to that silicone. It's just, it's out of reach. There's, I gotta face reality. I can't do that. I can't get that. Spiders. I might be able to get in the back way just to get discoveries in. Oh, some iron over here. Where is that? Is that in there? I'm, I'm in their territory still. Okay. So we got to be careful. Uh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that either because it's just crap. <laughs> well, it looks like there's something else still to discover. Just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. Ooh. Be really careful not to like capsize with like drones around or something, right? So, got to be careful. And there's your X, so gotta be careful. <laughs> and jeez. They they kinda blended into the grass there a bit. That was uh They just stood out because they the they caught the sun there. Okay, uh wow, they were like right on the edge of their zone. Are you serious? Well, it'll be some good, some good faction hunting once I get some guns. Okay, so how are we in the way of stats? So we, yeah. Uh... <sighs> That's okay. Let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. Do a little bit more, and then we'll call it an episode. Um... I'm probably going to continue exploring. Remember, this is a competition, so I can't be held up by video. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but um, I'm going to have to move ahead and probably grind. Once I get fifth level, I'm going to put... Oh, Talon Territory. Nice. Okay, so we can we can try and 
get in their territory and discover stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to get to level 5. I need to make the mobile constructor. Uh, I need to... Once I get the mobile constructor, I can make Gatling guns. Uh, I can make the harvest module. I can make the uh, harvest controller and and actually be able to to start grinding literally grinding xp grinding levels and and getting all my uh stuff so right now there's some some good stuff some iron in their zone okay and that's it Really? That's kind of lame. One frickin' iron? <sighs> and all of the silicone... All of the silicone is guarded. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So the only way to get silicone is by looting it or... I need an SV, like, right away, then, to go to, like, the moon to get silicone. <laughs> what? Oh, man. All the silicone deposits are guarded. Wow. Holy crap. Look at all the freaking spiders everywhere. This is, like, spider central. Excellent. Excellent. I can grind. <sighs> you know what? Maybe I should start doing that. Yep. You know what, guys? Let's. I'm going to call it an episode here. I'm going to just go around and start picking stuff because I can just easily start gathering and picking stuff from the HV. So I'm going to do that. It's kind of boring, as you can see. And I'm not using the right function. There we go. And yeah, I'm just going to do stuff like this and buzz around and pick vegetables and smash rocks and do more of the same that I did for the last couple episodes, except from standing on an HV. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, next episode, I, I'm either going to be dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, which I'm not. I haven't died yet. I haven't got it. I didn't progress really at all. I just made the HV for this episode, really. Did some exploring. We, we did discover a whole crap load of the deposits, though. All of the silicone. And uh, a couple of the iron. So none of the copper Europe. That's okay. That's okay. We're... Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. I can get all the, the rocks together, and I should be able to get enough rocks together now that we got the HV. Uh, I can go get that Prometheum too, um, and so we won't really have a fuel problem. Um, I don't really want to take over that player cord POI because oh, well, the Clash Sentinel rear isn't. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't want to take over that, though. That has a player core. That means it can be, even if you pop another core in it, its, it's number, its POI number, uh, is attackable. So it'll send base drones to that POI if you power it up, regardless if it's your core or not. Just, just, a, just an FOI. Um, bases that do not have cores to start with uh, they can actually you can put a core in them and power them up and from so far from my experiences that does not draw drone base attacks at all nada none so you can like fully power up a base uh, that's a previous POI that had no core. 
So if it had a core, if it had a player core, even if you pop your own core in there, like destroy the core and pop your own, it doesn't matter. It's still got that unprotected SID, so it can be attacked. Uh, okay, so how are we doing here? I guess that's that's all fine. God, we're hardly, we used 1% of our fuel and went halfway around the frickin' world. Like literally, three quarters of the way around the world. Wow, we're almost back to where we started there. So, on 1% fuel. How is that possible? Because we only have two real thrusters and one RCS. <laughs> yep. Yep, and you can see how tippy this thing is if you don't uh, all the level it. Now, let's see. I never did. Oh, it's because we're... It's not that tippy. It's, it's really not tippy. Anyway, um, we're also on a bit of an incline, aren't we? Yeah, so that's not going to help. But you can see, I think it is a little bit back heavy, which is good because once we put the harvester on and the guns, that's going to, that usually levels that off. So it's all front and back, even heavy with a constructor in there. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it off here. Um, next episode, I'm going to have either a way better HP or I'm going to be dead. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.